Today's show sounds like an unbelievable tabloid headline, sex symbols possessed by demons, but these stars claim that demons did in fact destroy their lives, or almost destroy their lives. We're going to hear these shocking allegations and see the exclusive videotape how one TV star got the evil spirits out of her body, some tape. Now, let's go first to my first guest, she shot to fame long before Madonna's sex book as a scandalous singer strutting her stuff in skin-tight satin and see-through lace. She was Prince's girlfriend known only as Vanity. She sang songs like Nasty Girls and Wet Dreams and Wild Animals. She snorted cocaine and posed nude for Playboy twice. But she claims the devil made her do it. Please welcome the new and improved Vanity. <laughs> yourself Denise yes please my name is absolutely Denise. Uh, yes. we haven't seen each other since the Carson show yes. and you were beautiful then and you're uh, no. fat, oh, and you're beautiful more beautiful now good to Thank see you, you. now what ha you what was going on in your life that you found God and so explicitly uh, there's a man in the audience his name is Patrick Patrick and uh, Terry Copley right. brought me to the Lord um, what was going on in my life uh, horror torture um, I didn't. I never snorted cocaine. I smoked cocaine. Okay. Okay. To That's me, I don't truth. know the difference, so uh, I'm sorry if I. There's no difference. It doesn't matter what you what you use. If it's sex that you use, whatever you use that uh, that kills yeah. the soul. Yeah. You know, I came to God. Uh, How many because, years ago? Oh no, just in the past nine months. I've been nine with God months. for nine months. For 33 years, I was the the, the Walking Dead. Okay. What was going on in your life? What? Because I never heard any stories about you. I know. You now know, they I tell played me it. Yeah. Well, I played it off well. I, yeah. I would, uh, I would carry on with a mask. You know, I masked yeah. myself yeah. with clothes, with, um, with everything, you yeah. know, with makeup, whatever. I could with shades, with, simply with eyeglasses. Yeah. And today I'm, uh... You <laughs> seem so serene. Yes, but, I am. I mean, today. were you doing, you doing drugs, sex? I mean, like... Men, no, there what? wasn't a lot of sex. There, was, there wasn't a lot of sex. Because I remember that time the whole, uh, which you didn't know, but the whole Doc Severinsen orchestra voted you the woman they'd most like to go to bed with of that whole week's group. Because that's what was going on backstage. Right. And, um, well, no, but that's what, and they don't mean that fresh. They just meant that all those gorgeous women would come through and every week at the end of the week would say, who do you think was the best looking in the group? And you and you you were voted that week, and you never knew. These were like little private things. It never, it, I yeah. probably never heard. I wasn't yeah. really awake then. Were you wild? Do you think? Uh, wild? Yes, I was extremely wild. Uh, give, know, me a, give me give me an instance. I, I like, played. Well, I used to go just going out and flirting and teasing, and uh, just the way I showed myself. You know, the way I I, I performed. Yeah. I, yeah, demons did possess me. Yeah. What about you? Just say, you're not walking with God. Demons will possess you. You were suspended over a bed. Somebody tell me. Yeah, a woman. A woman caught me one time suspended, about three feet from my bed. But then you know I was I was doing psychic reading for anybody that's listening to psychics or for anybody that's doing psychic work. Okay. Yeah. It's all of the devil. If you when you come to God and you read the truth, which is in here, you'll be a prophet of Jesus. You won't be a psychic. How did you know? Psychic work is. I yeah. would invite the demons into my house. And, and God says in Thessalonians that he shall send you strong delusion that you shall believe a lie because you did not receive the love of the truth he, uh, that you should be saved, but you will, you will perish. How that. did you know the demons were in you? Do you know Well, you saying? know, I didn't know what that was. Yeah. I believed that I was talking to God. Yeah. Okay? I Did believe that I was to talking to God, and most psychics that you sit up with, that, that converse with you, yeah. tell you that you are talking to God. Okay? Right. And that is a lie. I'm here to tell you that's a lie. And when you carry on with it, and, and, and when you, um, you get so into it, and you will invite those demons in to talk to you, they'll sit up and they'll tell you lies, and they'll tell you they have past lives. Let me tell you something. You got one shot here. Yeah. You got one shot. But Denise, how did you know you weren't talking to God if you thought you were? Do you understand what I'm saying? Because because, I, uh, you know, there are a lot of ghosts working, throwing things in my house, and people were running out, and uh, I thought there was... I, I had begun by praying that God would just take me out of this because of the things that were happening to my body, the demons that were coming into my bed. What was happening to your me. body? You well, were suspended over your bed. Yeah, forget all that. Yeah. They were coming into my bed, and they were sleeping in my bed, and they were walking around my bed, and they were trying to... You could the see them? 
yes, I could see them, and also, but but God has delivered me. From yeah. That. Oh, I know that. You understand? But, but that that stuff will happen to you if you carry on doing the things that you're doing. What about period? Prince, now does that mean there were demons in him too? Because you were associated well, you with know, him. You know, you know something. That's not for me to judge, but I can tell you that if you're not walking with the Lord, if you're not doing this, right. okay, because you won't find those pictures that are in there of, of me. You won't find them in this book. I right. threw out all those pictures. If you're not walking with God, then you're walking with the ugly thing, okay? You're walking with him. And until you get reborn, because God says, verily, this is God talking, verily, verily, I say unto everyone, right. no man shall enter the kingdom of God lest he be born again. So now what did you do? I was walking dead. But now you're... Fine. I walk with the Lord. And you change your name and you yeah. feel the cement. What did you like? I this sounds very stuff. shallow. I, I wake up, I wake up. Whoa. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm alive. Right. <laughs> I get excited in God. I get excited. I never had a, a reason to live before. I, what did I talk yeah. about? Joan, when I talked to you the it's last time, we talked about how I wear my lingerie. I mean, I, come yeah. on, wake up. I know. You I know was shallow. I thought I was interested. I, I know. Mean, how do you wear your lingerie today? Yeah. Whoa, great conversation. You know, yeah. today I don't talk about did that Did you get stuff. rid of everything? Like, did you get rid of yeah. your lingerie? Did you get rid of all that yeah. stuff? Did you yeah. clean house? Yeah, cleaned house. What Boy, did you... a lot to clean house. I was going to say, what did you, what did <laughs> you throw out? Physically. Physically, we, we, physically what did you men, get rid? We threw out men. Men. Out of my life, we have Jesus. Hallelujah. Nobody else? Nobody else. Just Jesus. No man? Just Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But what happens when you meet somebody and it's wonderful and terrific? Well, then it's wonderful and it's terrific and it's sweet, but you know... You won't I don't, sleep I don't, with anybody? No, I won't sleep I with I mean, I don't mean sleep I will like let, I will you, let you, God, and you. Okay, tell me but, something. Yeah. Through your childhood or through yeah. your uh, adult yeah. whatever, um, men that came into your life or that come into your life, if they haven't been picked, if it hasn't, if he hasn't been picked or she hasn't been picked by God, you usually make a mistake. Yeah, but, but right. what if somebody very nice now comes into your life? Would you, but you Hello, know how I, are you? But, <laughs> it's a but, pleasure. Yeah, but what if you, you wouldn't get are you married? With the Lord, if you're not with the Lord, but, I'll bring you okay. to the Lord. What, what if somebody's nice and adorable yes. and believes in God and all that? You wouldn't get married. Well, no, whatever God wants. Yeah, that's God what I'm will tell me. He'll prophesy to me. He'll right. tell me. You know what? You know what? If if you don't have the Lord, this is what you're missing. You're missing life. Number one. Number two, you're missing a beautiful voice talking to you, telling you where to go and what to do. Okay, you're missing a comforter, somebody that loves you. I was in the shower the other day. The most uplifting thing to me was the fact I said, God, now, what do you want to tell me this morning? Okay, because I know you got something to tell me. He said, Denise, I love you. I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you love me? Me? I had no, there was no reason for anybody to love me Why before I came Why were you so unhappy? You were successful. Because my life, I always, I always thought about what had happened to me as a child. I was uh, abused badly, so I thought about that all the time. Mm -hmm. And I never knew how to forgive that, okay? I could never let it go. People say, let it go. Who abused who you? Gonna give, who are you going to give it to? Yeah. The universe? The universe will yeah. throw it right back in your face, yeah. okay? Yeah. Today, I let it go. I give it to the Lord. I what have about to give it to. other people like Michael Jackson or Sinead O'Connor? And all these people, what's going on? What do you think about them? Well, you know, I, I have Latoya one thing Victoria Jackson, where she's jumping around these days. You know, I, I pray for these people. I pray for them because God wants us all. Yeah. He chooses us all to come. If God should come knocking on your door through somebody, listen to them. What about Madonna? I what do you think about too. Madonna? I, I, that, she reminds me of my old self. She reminds me of... Yeah. You cannot live that kind of life and be happy inside, okay? When you go home and you shut your door, you'll be just like I was. Okay, you, you don't want to oh, miserable, and I was on my knees, hands and knees, praying to God, please help me, please find me, send me people that will show me the way, the truth, the light, or just let me die because oh. I hate myself. Now I, I'm in such shock because when I, I, know. I didn't know when all you this knew going me, on, and yeah. I left your show yeah. and I walked off your show, I went home just to get away from everybody. Now that isn't what God wants us. See, God doesn't just put us in the world so we can just say, oh God, let's get away from everybody. Right. I hate myself, I hate the world, I hate it all. I couldn't wait to leave, to get home and be by myself. Why? To cry. What is this doing That's with sad. your career now? Are they not My offering career. you the part? But you know. Oh, sure. No, see, you, you can't offer me nothing. But what One about making nothing, a living? Nothing, nothing comes unto man except it come from God first. Right. God gave you this show. Joe. Right. Everything that you have in your life, God gave you. Everything that you have in your life, God has given to you. He's yes, waiting for you to but thank But God him. is giving me the show to pay my bills. Thank How you. are you paying? No, but you're not. How, How are, are you they, paying your bills? Me, I, I just finished The Highlander. I just, when I came with God, boy, before that, I couldn't get a job. 
Today, I mean, I got four films. Boom, 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 boom. Well, Thank you, Jesus. Well, what do you, in, like, in Lady, in Lady Boss, yes. you play a very slutty character. You No, I same? didn't play the slutty character. They portrayed me as it. They wanted to portray me that I won a case in the show that says I wasn't. Meaning, right. th just like in my life, what had happened in that show happened in my life. So that's why you Trying could take that suicide, part. suicide, all that stuff. Right. Yes, that's why I could take over that that's part. Why you could take and that the part. Lord had bigger plans just because of that part. Do you want to know what they were? Yeah, sure. So that I could go on that set and I could witness to people like you. And while I'm witnessing, God's testifying to me the same thing. Will you stay for the rest of the show? Hallelujah. Okay. We'll be right back in a moment with another unbelievable story from the sexy blonde bombshell, Terry Copley, whose beautiful body was also possessed by demons, so stay tuned.